I'm using Windows 10 and here is unity.com. I'm going to click on get started, try personal. And starting from Unity 2019, we now have the Unity Hub as the installer. First, you got to download it. And I'm going to run the installer. Agree. Pick your folder for Unity Hub. Install. Finish. First thing I'm going to do is go to Setup and pick my custom folder for installing all of my Unity versions. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Unity Installs. Select folder. Done. I'm going to go to Official Releases and I'm going to pick the latest version. You can always install the components later, so I'm not going to be too picky here. I'm going to pick Android, iOS, Linux, Mac, Windows, this as well. Okay, and click Next. Agree, done. And if you wait, the hub is going to download and install. And while you're waiting, you can go to On My Machine, go to Locate a Version, and locate your previous installs. For me, Unity 2018.3 is here. So I'm going to go in there, select the Unity Editor, and now the previous version is listed. Once you're done installing, you can set the latest version as preferred. I don't think this matters a whole lot. Let's go to Projects, and we can see the previous projects that we've been working on. And if you click here, you can make the upgrade to 2019. But before we do this, make sure that you fully backed up your project because upgrading might fuck it up completely and you might lose everything. For me, I have my project on GitHub, so I'm just gonna go on, upgrade. I've loaded my project and here I already see a bunch of error messages about a package called TextMesh Pro. So I'm gonna go to Window and click on Package Manager. You might not see this button the first time you run Unity. Just try restarting, it should be there. And I'm gonna search for TextMesh Pro. Here it is. And I'm just gonna remove it. Okay, once it's gone, so are the error messages. And I can play as usual. I don't see any difference in the UI, so using this shouldn't be too hard. Except I see the visual button here. You can toggle on and off. For now, I'm just going to go on with my tutorials as usual. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.